And Dumi, just to get to know you better, what do you value the most? Family. And by family, I don't mean blood. I'm talking family, uh, the people in my life, the people who've carried me, the people I know I can call when the popo hits the fan, um, the people who feed me positively. Um, that's, I really, really value that. And to me, I wasn't actually snooping or anything, but I went through your Twitter timeline and uh, saw a conversation that you had with your husband about getting a second child. Is it true that you're expecting your second little one? Yes, we're expecting our third little one. Oh, third little one. Yeah, we suck us for punishment. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, he just he went and paparazzied my belly, that guy. Yeah, I saw your response. You're like, why? Why are you paparazzing everything? <laughs> yeah, so we're like in production here, but in first production there. We're busy. We're busy. Yes. <laughs> like, how do you keep it all together? Like being a mother of two, expecting a third one, and still keeping up with your productions and everything else. Goals, eh? Hey, people underestimate the power of goals. If you have goals, and if you have a diary. My husband and I, you know, <laughs> my mother used to find it funny, but I think over time she actually got to appreciate what it is that my husband and I live on a schedule. We treat our family like a business. We run it like a business, and that's how we keep on top of everything, you know. Um, and yes, obviously, we're human. There are times when things will fall to the wayside. There will be times we will realize, oh, my gosh, we are actually business partners right now. We are not being boyfriend and girlfriend. Can we please revert? You know, it happens. But if we didn't have that structure, we probably wouldn't even notice when things like that happen. So that's 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 the thing that helps us. And also, we have a support network. You know, we, we have a good relationship with our parents, and they support us. And if we need them to take the kids, just so we can have a night's sleep in, not even so we can be romantic, <laughs> just so we can score eight hours of uninterrupted sleep. <laughs> Wow, that's interesting. And you know, a lot of women during pregnancy, they like experience a lot of discomfort. So what are you currently experiencing right now with your pregnancy? Oh, um, I'm craving the same juice all the time. And I keep being told about how you should avoid pregnancy diabetes. You'll get gestational diabetes. And I'm like, yeah, but I want this. I'm not eating anything. It's a liquid addiction can I just be allowed um, the only discomfort really is I mean I had my last one recently I had my last one last year April and by a cesarean section so it's, it's the bigger the belly gets, the more uncomfortable I feel and you can imagine I can't stand being home and doing nothing <laughs> I'm struggling to wean myself off work um, but I'm at that point now where, okay, I'm tired of being so all the time, so I'm meaning myself off work. And as a mother, what have been your most memorable moments? Jeez, there's just so many. Um, my firstborn recently, like just when I thought, okay, this boy has said something that will blow me away, there's nothing else coming. <laughs> he recently... Um, we found out he's asthmatic, right? And it's one of those allergy-related asthma things. And one of the things he should eat is fish. Now, I have porridge brain. I completely forgot I went and made him this lovely fish sandwich. <laughs> and he is like halfway through the sandwich when my husband walks in and says, is he eating fish? And I apologize to my child a million times. And do you know what he says to me? He says, it's okay, mommy. Even me, I also make mistakes. I was flawed. Four-year-old. That is so sweet. Um, and uh, with the youngest one, he's been and a half, right? Um, it's the fact that when you give him things, he says, thank you. I'm like, oh my gosh, you can't even speak yet. You, you know to thank people when they give you stuff. It's not like, ah. I love him. He's so cute. He looks like a girl. So, I'm hoping for a girl, but if I don't get a girl, that's my girl. Thank you so much, Dumi. You've been amazing. Thank you. Bye.